think that many of these individuals have been taught that if someone disagrees with their opinion on this, that person hates them. You know, but this is, I think, very unfair for both of us because, you know, if I wanted to marry two women and let's say a gay couple were to say to me, you can't do that, I would say, oh, you hate me then. You hate all three of us because you say, well, they would say, well, I don't hate you. I just don't think it's a real marriage if you can't pick between two people. And, and, I, and I could try to inflame this thing into hate speech and bigotry and all this. But at the end of the day, it's like, no, we, we have differing opinions. Hate is a very powerful word. And if I think we're going to help these individuals, what we need more than anything is relational ministry. Now, I have a friend who goes into gay and lesbian bars in inner city Chicago to evangelize. And when he told me that, I'm like, what do you do? Like, how do you bring up the catechism, you know, at a lesbian bar? How does that go over? And he says, ah, usually we just don't. And I'm like, well, how do you talk about God? He's like, well, often we don't. I'm like, well, what do you say? And his idea was, like, you don't have to be the mouth of Christ some, all the time. Sometimes you can actually be his ears to someone. So what we do is we sit at the bar stool and we listen and we talk and we make friends and that's it. And we go home. And he said, now I have gay male prostitutes calling my cell phone at three o'clock in the morning crying to me. On the, on the edge of giving up their whole life because they know I love them and they know I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna listen to those guys. This is what we need to be. We're so obsessed with being the mouth of Christ that we realize that Christ had one mouth but he had two ears just like us. And so we should double the amount of time that we spend listening and understanding. So that's why it's such a blessing this has come to the forefront culturally with the whole gender thing and everything else because now we can have a better understanding and with more understanding, we can give more love.